President Donald Trump is expected to sign an executive action also to commission an election fraud investigation. The proposed investigation is raising the prospect of federal government probe into widely de a widely debunked claim that millions voted illegally, including ballots cast under the names of dead people. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has our story. Tens of millions of Americans move across the country annually, a thousand a month to Texas. People do move, and one of the things that they don't do is uh, tell the last uh, county where they were registered, hey, I'm moving. Two million in America die each year, and those registered to vote must be purged from voting lists. The general election that saw Mr. Trump win the Electoral College also saw him lose the popular vote. In President Trump's first interview on ABC News, he said as many as 5 million people voted illegally. But when you look at the people that are registered, dead, illegal, and two states, and some cases maybe three states, uh, we have a lot to look into. We have our own voter fraud investigations. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton agrees with the president. It's pretty clear that there is some fraud going on, at least in Texas. It would not surprise me if that's going on all over the nation. Secretaries of state across the nation, though, say there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud. The state says that they have received the following voter registration cancellation information. Dallas County Elections Administrator Tony Pippins Poole showing us how states work to share information. They are coming from California, Missouri, uh, Nevada. Weekly about people who've moved from Texas and registered elsewhere. These are June, July. And Texas does the same so that folks who've come here can be purged from the state they left, hoping to keep the public's trust in the election process. And that we don't have people that uh, have the ability to vote twice. Now, House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz says he sees no evidence of voter fraud in the 2016 election, and his committee, he says, will not investigate it, though the Utah Republican says President Trump could order the Justice Department to investigate. Now, no one we talked with today knew what that investigation could look like if it was ordered because it's never happened before. Steve? All right, Sean, thank you.